Okay, I'm ready. I'm not going to break it. Give me up to anything. That's all, Mark. That max acceleration? No. Man, you are really bouncing. Is he on the ground at all? Yeah, that's 10 kilometers. Huh? He's got about two wheels on the ground. He's a big rooster tail out of all four wheels. And as he turns, he skids. The back end breaks loose just like on snow. Come on back, John. Hey, the deck is running. Man, I'll tell you, Andy's never seen a driver like this.
Uh, going back across, son, uh, the tracks, we just barely penetrated the uh, regolith of maybe an eighth of an inch or so. Uh, whatever it is, it's going to be real firm here. Hopefully we can get the N13, a double pour one. Uh, negative. Uh, we'll have a double pour back at the uh, station 10 prime. Station. Oh, uh, good. That's, uh, I think we might do it there. Here, I don't think. Okay, station 13 is a rake soil. Uh, then uh, documented samples until you run out of time. Okay, you want to go, we'll go up on this ridge here, Charlie, because that's where the big blocks were. Yeah. Remember? Yeah. That big one we thought was the rim, and it was... Yeah. Uh, the sort of a... Uh, what we're up in on now is a sort of a pre-rim rim of this uh, impact crater. And it, it, it's the 600 meters from the rim. Okay, Tony, I'm panning your camera around at various places here on the 16 to get right and left. Okay, it's, it's really, probably out of film uh, now. Again, the impression is that the... Already? Uh, no, we're just going to turn it off now. I'm sorry, Charlie. It's half full, Charlie. Okay, turn it off. Okay, good show. And uh, Charlie, you uh, had the opportunity to take one of these lunar rovers and traverse the moon. Uh, you know, give us a little sense of what it was like to drive a lunar rover, this kind of dune buggy, across the surface of the moon, and what was also what was facilitated by it. What's what's important? What it was was given by that capability. John Young told me, "Don't touch this handle. I'm the driver." <laughs> 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 so I was the navigator. I never drove the lunar rover. Uh, and uh, we jumped in and uh, got the uh, directional gyro aligned so we'd have a direction. And I had a set of maps and uh, we started off. And it was bouncy. Uh, it, uh, it, it, the lunar rover only weighed 80 pounds up on the moon. And uh, so uh, we got in and strapped in and off we went uh, according to these set of maps. Uh, and uh, uh, I thought, thought the ride was real sporty. Uh, it bounced a lot, and uh, sometimes uh, both front wheels were off the, off the surface. It was real squirrely. Uh, it, the back end is like driving on ice and breaking loose uh, occasionally. Uh, and, uh, but it was a lot of fun. And John had to really focus on his, uh, the surface, because you'd go over a ridge and that'd be a rock or a crater or something out there and he'd have to scoot around. While I was just with the maps and taking pictures and being basically the travel guide uh, to mission control. As we, um, as we drove uh, without any TV uh, to describe the surface that we were o going over. Mm -hmm. So it was a lot of fun. Uh, I had the best job, I thought, because focusing on the, on the road, uh, uh, on the surface, there's not any roads on the moon. Uh, fortunately, no traffic either. So uh, we uh, <coughs> we uh, just uh, had a good time. Dro drove a total of about uh, 17 miles, I believe it was. And uh, <coughs> John said we set the moon speed record. Of what speed? Uh, uh, Cernan said he set the mean speed, the moon speed record on 17. But we don't argue because both of us were, the speedometer went to 17 kilometers an hour and it was off scale high on both sides. Both. <laughs> so whatever we went was a lot of fun. Yeah. Excellent, thank you.